On today's episode of the Bootstrap Biz Advice Show, I'm going to teach you how I made my business cards in Canva. If you've not picked up on this yet, Canva is bay, Canva is life. I would start at Canva if you need graphics in your business. If you would like access to my VIP vault, which is my epic resource library filled with video tutorials, cheat sheets, checklists, and even stock photos for free, visit LashondaBrown.com or click on the link in the description. Without further ado, let's hop in. Once you've logged into your Canva account, you're going to scroll down to the marketing materials section of Canva. Now, one important thing to note is you can print things that you create in Canva, like a poster, a menu, a flyer, a brochure, a gift certificate, a label, and even your business card. So in today's video, we're gonna hop into business cards. I'm going to teach you some of the things that I've learned after trying to print Canva designs, and hopefully this information will be useful to you in your business. So we'll go ahead and click on the business card template, and that's going to pull up some options. Now this is similar to how they set up the presentation template. And what I mean by that is if you look on the left-hand side, you're gonna notice something different about the templates. Some of them are flat and others have little tabs on the right-hand side. What that means is this template doesn't just have a front, it has a back side. So this particular template, you could make this the front of your card and this the back of your card. And so you can easily hop in there edit the text and export that out. Another thing that you can do, if you find that, we'll say here, you really like the way the front of this card looks, but you want to use the backside of a different template, just make another page, and you can mix and match your templates. You do not have to use the front and the back of the same template. Now, here's the deal. Once again, you're going to want to make sure your colors and fonts match. These templates are awesome, but a way to take them to the next level is to make sure that the colors match your brand. Now, here's another thing that I realized after printing my own business cards within Canva. You can send the files that you create in Canva to a printer. You can export them as a PDF, or for websites like a Vistaprint, for instance, you're going to want to export it as a PNG file. Now here comes the kicker. Um, One thing you need to understand is business cards are a whole heck of a lot smaller in real life than they look on your computer screen. So you may not want to do a ton of complicated things with your design that may not show up well. One thing I realized after printing this particular card is this yellow text doesn't show up that well if you don't have a good print of your card. The first generation of this card, it was kind of hard to read, but the second one was a lot better. So I would say when you look at your design, fill up the card because remember these cards are very small so that way the text is easier to read you also want to stray away from bright colors that may not print well also remember your colors will print a little bit differently than how they look on your computer more than likely based on your computer screen settings it's going to show up a bit darker than what you see on your screen so keep that in mind Now, one fun thing I did with my card is I wanted to use the back side of my card as an advertisement. So I would encourage you, if you are creating business cards for your business, think about the application. Are you using this card to drive traffic to websites or are you using this card for networking? Would you want to leave the back side of your card open? Or are you perhaps a hairstylist and want to use the back side of your card to write down appointment times for a future appointment? 
as you're designing your card, think about the application. Don't just stick to what the Canva templates give you. Now, when you're done designing your front and your back, you're going to want to download what you created. And this is a huge thing to remember, especially if you are uploading to the website Vistaprint. Instead of just downloading the PNGs, you want to click on that drop down and select for print. If you select for print, you can add crop marks and bleed. The reason why you want to do this is a lot of the online websites for printing want you to have bleed because they're going to cut off your designs at a certain point. And to make sure that no important information gets cut off, you want to make sure that you add crop marks or bleed if you plan to print it. Now, if you're creating a flyer or a brochure in Canva and you're printing it yourself, you may not need to add crop marks and bleed. But if you find that stuff is getting cut off when you drop it into a site like Vistaprint, then add the crop marks and that should take care of your issues. So once again, you know, I love using Canva. I think Canva is amazing. It's not the be all end all when you want to print though. I would be very particular about what you create in Canva that you're sending to a printer. You'll want to use, in my opinion, someone local so that when you send the file over, if they have any issues, you can make those tweaks. A website is not going to give you that feedback that you may need to make sure that your information shows up how you want it to appear. I hope this video was useful to you. If you would like to learn more from me, you can hop over to LashondaBrown.com and sign up for my VIP vault. You'll get the password immediately with unlimited access so you can see my resource library. If you haven't subscribed, I would love for you to do that because I teach people how to grow their biz without breaking the bank. Until next time, ta-ta for now.